Hey, before we start, this episode's brought to you by Omaze. Go to omaze.com slash game ranks to find out more. This one's pretty cool. Hello, folks. Today is Friday, October 20... October 22nd, 2021, as usual. My name is Jake Baldino, here to talk about all the video game news that's been going on this week. And it's a jam-packed week. Let's just dive in first. Uh, let, let's start a little crazy with the rumor mill stuff. Remember that leak we discussed about a month ago or so uh, involving NVIDIA and some data miners that revealed uh, a list from NVIDIA themselves, uh, possibly of upcoming games. Some of them seemed pretty outrageous, uh, but there was a lot of tantalizing stuff on there, like Titanfall 3, A New Kingdom Hearts, Gears of War 6, Dragon's Dogma 2, which has been rumored in the past, a new Street Fighter. We'll link the whole list in the infamous Reddit thread uh, down in the description, but we just wanted to bring it up real quick because we're thinking about it again, because more things on this list are coming true. So it has been announced that God of War is officially coming to PC. There's a Steam page and everything. We got a gameplay reveal. It looks gorgeous. It's coming out in January. And as of this morning, uh, we got an official reveal for the Grand Theft Auto uh, Trilogy Definitive Edition Remake Remaster thing, which we'll talk about more in a bit. So this list has gotten a couple of things right. And now there's like six or so games at, at, the, at the very least on this list that we're thinking, what if those are real? There's like a Crisis 4, there's a bunch. Like we discussed last time, this list could have just been internal speculation on NVIDIA's part, or they just are aware of games in the works. Sometimes big crazy leaks like this do pan out, sometimes they don't, but this one seemingly has gotten a couple of things right, so we just wanted to highlight it. Oh, and speaking of God of War on PC and Sony specifically, there's a new state of play coming next week. Uh, that's Wednesday, October 27th, I believe, uh, with some unannounced games and some looks at some third party games. So that's something to look forward to. But of course, the thing I wanted to talk about most this week uh, officially was revealed this morning. They confirmed it last week, but now we got a good look at the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Definitive Edition. And it's pretty gorgeous. A lot of people dunked on me. A lot of you guys in the comments. I was excited for this. A lot of people think Rockstar is the most terrible company in the world because they haven't released GTA 6 yet. But uh, considering what they've done here, the work they put into this... I'm impressed and I'm probably gonna buy it. So it's the three games and they're substantially updated uh, with some gameplay tweaks and uh, Grand Theft Auto V style controls and aiming. That we didn't get to see any, uh, which I'm a little bummed about. I, I wanna know what that actually feels like, but uh, we got a good look at just the complete uh, overhaul of the visuals and they're pretty impressive. We know that there's new lighting, there's new textures, there's new character models. The character models, you'll note, actually have fingers and they their eyes and mouths move more, which is pretty sweet. Fingies confirmed, baby. Fingies! There's new updated weather effects, foliage. Uh, the next-gen consoles are gonna support all that goodness, that 4K HDR stuff. Uh, it's gonna have DLSS on PC. And the character models in particular, I like what they're doing with them, where they're keeping that style. They didn't try and make them look like real people, because that I feel like that would have just been more of a mess and we probably would have been making fun of the game. They stuck with the art style. They updated it. They kind of look like Grand Theft Auto action figures mixed with the loading screen art styles, which, Awesome. The weapon wheels and radio selection wheels are updated. The mini maps are updated and modernized. Uh, th there's like modern checkpoints and restarts, uh, draw distances, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, the, the official Rockstar website does a good job of breaking everything down. So uh, this is releasing on all the major platforms, including Nintendo Switch, November 11th. It's coming to mobile eventually. I wonder how that's going to look. It's also worth pointing out that the GTA 3 version is going to be on PlayStation now. December 7th and uh, Xbox Game Pass people are going to get the San Andreas version of the game uh, on launch, which is pretty cool. There's also going to be a physical release in December, which is nice. Uh, so I think this update's pretty interesting. I wasn't expecting a massive overhaul, but I also wasn't sure if we were going to get uh, like much of an upgrade at all. And I think this is a nice happy medium. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna be checking this out. We're gonna be making videos on it. I'm very curious to see uh, what else the deal is. Is all of the music actually there? Are there a couple tracks missing? Are they gonna change or update anything else? We'll just have to wait and see, but thankfully, you know, not much longer. Hey, next up, this episode's brought to you by Omaze. They're working with the Peterson Automotive Museum. Donate $10. And get this, you're entered for a chance to win an original restored DeLorean. Yeah, they're actually letting me do this. You guys know I'm a longtime fan of this vehicle and its history, the quirks and setbacks behind it, the entire story. It's fascinating. And I'm not even talking about the time machine stuff. I wanted to get this opportunity to you guys front and center because winning an original and restored DeLorean from DeLorean Motor Company is insane. I know from my years of weird, nerdy DeLorean research and no, 
They won't let me have one. And with supporting the Peterson Automotive Museum, it goes to a great cause. This supports their Peterson Workshop, a K through 12 YouTube educational series designed to help students understand the history of the automobile and the future of transportation. So to potentially win a slick, restored DeLorean with its gullwing doors, its Italian Giugiaro designed exterior, its Lotus designed chassis and suspension. I can go on and on about that, but uh, also support the Peterson Automotive Museum with their preservation and educational efforts. Just go to amaze.com slash game ranks. You can click it in the link in the description down below. It's also right here. Once again, that's amaze.com slash game ranks. And thanks to Amaze for sponsoring our videos. Also, of course, it wouldn't be a week of gaming news without some delay. The first is Elden Ring. Sorry, kiddos, it's been delayed. It's only been pushed like five weeks. Elden Ring has jumped from January 22nd to February 25th. So there you go. Uh, but also on the delay scene, Advance Wars, unfortunately. This game looked awesome for Nintendo Switch. It, it, a lot of people have been waiting for this kind of resurgence. It was expected in December, but now it's launching spring 2022. Also, CD Projekt Red has announced that Cyberpunk 2077's next-gen versions are now coming first quarter 2022, and the updated next-gen version of The Witcher 3 is coming second quarter 2022. Also, you guys know I was gonna talk about it, acknowledge this, the Splinter Cell rumor. The newest rumor on the street is from Video Games Chronicle, a website who's reporting and scooping I do tend to trust, I think they've got a decent track record. Uh, so they have cited unnamed sources that are working on the project uh, th that there is officially a greenlit new Splinter Cell game. Uh, according to this report, and this is the part I don't believe a lot, Ubisoft wants to like win back fans and make a new Splinter Cell game. Apparently this isn't going to be like a Montreal, like big Ubisoft studio project. Somebody else might be working on it. We don't know who. Uh, this is apparently just greenlit. So it's just really getting the okay. Things are just starting. I feel like we talk about a Splinter Cell rumor like this every year, but okay. There's so much to say about this. Like what is a modern Ubisoft Splinter Cell like? Do we even want it? Is it even gonna be good? Uh, are they gonna have Sam pass the torch to somebody else because he's old now? Are they gonna reboot it? Who knows, there's so many questions up in the air. I am just like, is Michael Ironside gonna be back? What's the deal? That's the biggest thing, of course. Believe it or not, I saw the Sam Fisher or Zero uh, voice actor from Rainbow Six Siege liking a lot of tweets on Twitter about this news. I wonder what that means. Could be nothing. I don't know. Just always looking out for you guys. Anyway, I do want to know what you guys are thinking about this down in the comments. Like I said, I've gone in depth on this more on my channel, youtube.com slash Jake Baldino, but uh, let me know what you think. Do you want a new Splinter Cell and what do you want it to be like? Now we got some stuff you may have missed throughout the week. It's all gonna be gathered and linked in the description down below, a couple videos and stuff like that. The first is a big Halo Infinite PC overview video, which is nice to see. Uh, they're just highlighting and showing that they're taking the PC version seriously. Also, we got like a surprise weird video about Starfield, just a brief video kind of detailing and setting up the universe and how far it is from Earth and the state of exploration in this, this universe that they're building out in this fiction. And it's cool, we got a couple of new looks at some uh, concept art, but really that's it. If you're hungry for info, there's only little snippets here. Game Informer has had a lot of uh, new Saints Row game exclusives and stuff like that. So uh, we linked one of their gameplay videos. It's just kind of like free roaming, uh, wingsuiting around the city in the open world. I don't it seems like Saints Row. I don't know, man. Uh, let's see how this goes. Also, something I'm, I'm really excited about, uh, the Stardew Valley creator, uh, Concerned Ape, has announced their official game, uh, next game, and, and revealed it. It's called The Haunted Chocolatier. It definitely looks like a spiritual successor to Stardew Valley. It involves uh, kind of taking up shop in a haunted castle and making chocolate and selling it to the townsfolk, but you're also going out and adventuring very much in a Stardew Valley flow. It looks like there's gonna be more of an emphasis on relationships and stuff like that in the game. Uh, the music seems cool, the art style seems just like, mm, give it to me now. <laughs> uh, but Concerned Ape has said that this is still quite a ways off. Also, I thought this was interesting. I mean, it, it comes not as a big surprise, but Razer is moving even deeper into the PC market in terms of uh, components. A little bit of a crowded market, but they are now uh, making, they've announced uh, AIOs and uh, power supplies and case fans and all that good stuff. They got their own fan control unit, of course, and uh, everything is littered with RGB in typical <laughs> typical Razer fashion. I'm really curious to see if they can like punch into this market because you guys probably know if you build PCs, uh, so many other companies already have a lock on a lot of this stuff, but if anyone can break in, it's Razer because they have so much power and money in other areas of this market. But I want to like 
like know the response from you guys. Are you into this? Are you a razor person? Are you gonna dive in on a razor cooler or a power supply or something like that? Let me know. But the last thing, of course, we gotta highlight it. You guys know I'm fascinated with like uh, them trying to make movies and TV shows out of video games. The newest attempt has arrived. The first trailer for Uncharted, starring Tom Holland as Nathan Drake and Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg as Sully. You notice I like couldn't even say that out loud because it feels so wrong. I'm not always trying to put like a bunch of negativity out in the world. Uh, I'll judge this movie. I'm still gonna go see it. There's parts of it that seem interesting. There's some parts of it that are, like are just really just doing the game. I don't know. I'm super mixed, whatever. Like I said, I'm gonna judge when it releases, <laughs> but I'm ready to explode. There's so much I wanna say. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is, this is, uh, whoo. I don't even know. I'm at a loss for words. Let's spin it to something more positive. If there is a uh, game that you would love to be turned into a movie, what is it? And do you think they could actually do it? Let me know. And really, that's it for the show this week. So let's talk about everything. There's a lot. So what do you think about those leaks that we kind of revisited? Also, what do you think about the Grand Theft Auto trilogy? Uh, is it enough for you? Is it not? Are you still just angry that they're not releasing GTA 6? Let me know, man. You're gonna see this Uncharted movie. Uh, what do you expect from the state of play next week? Uh, just in general, what games are you playing? Let's talk about any of this stuff down in the comments. We'll be down there as much as possible, but it always gets a little crazy. So if you wanna yell at me directly, hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at Jake Baldino. Also, thank, thanks to a lot of you guys last week who wished me well uh, for the chair bit where I fell off my chair. I'm okay. It hurt, but that you gotta commit. You gotta commit to the bit, kids. <laughs> And once again, big thanks to our sponsor, Omaze, omaze.com slash GameRanks. We're here every Friday. Clicking the like button helps us out a lot. Very much appreciate it. You can catch me on the Friday show and on the Before You Buys. I'm Jake Baldino. Thanks for watching. Pizza's on me. Have a lovely weekend.